Welcome back. Do you have a bunch of useless technology wasting space in your home or office? If so, you are not alone. Jay is here to talk to us about how to recycle our old electronics. Hey Jay, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks Brittany, how are you? I am pretty good. Excellent. So I'm wondering, does this look like anything familiar to you? Definitely. Old I, phones, old chargers. I have a full shoebox full of these old chargers and I don't know what to do with. I don't know what belongs with what. They're so old from old electronics I don't even use anymore. Yeah, absolutely. And and this is pretty typical of, of uh, what you'll find in most households nowadays. Just old of uh, old electronics everywhere and, and people just don't know what to do with it anymore. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as, as soon as something new comes out, they're ready to get it and they just stash the old stuff away and, and it, it's they think it's out of sight, but it, it's, it's never quite out of mind. So, I mean, what, what to do with it all? I mean, back... Or, Back in the day, I guess, everyone would just throw it away and, and not think anything more of it and, and be off to a dump somewhere and, and, and it wouldn't matter. But as societies become more conscientious of, of our carbon footprint and, and really reusing and recycling the, uh, the products and, and, and the stuff that we have, it's really no different with electronic devices as well. Definitely, it's a reduce, reuse, and recycle, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. Okay. It carries forward right into your electronic gadgets and, and, and uh, components. So. Um, it's, it's very, very important nowadays to, to keep these out of a landfill and, and properly recycle uh, the, the components that are, are a part of our computers and, and just our daily electronic devices. It is becoming quite a bit of an environmental hazard, isn't it? I've well, been studying it in school. It's been a big, major issue. You no, know, absolutely it is. I mean, uh, like we all know there's a lot of plastic and, and metal that, that are just a, a part of these that, that can be taken apart and, and recycled, just like a pop can or a, a pop bottle. But um, the bigger concern is the hazardous materials that make up these these components and, and, and these devices. I mean, one battery alone um, has enough lead that to, yeah. to, to cause a lot of damage to a water table or, or to uh, uh, to soil. If it's hazardous it. to our health and our environment. Right? Uh, absolutely, it is, right. yeah, and to our food and, and, and to our pets and, and our kids and everything. So it's very, very important that, that, that these be properly recycled, properly disposed of, and, and uh, to ensure that we have a a long and healthy life ahead of us for our earth and for ourselves. Very good point. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the challenge though is where do you find out the information? I mean, you can't just put them into your blue bin uh, on, on recycling day. Uh, they won't go there. They can't be processed in the same way that uh, your, your household uh, recycling will be processed. So that leaves people wondering, well, where do I go? Where can I find out this information? And, and, and luckily here in Ontario, there's, there's a great resource sponsored by the Ontario government. Uh, it's hosted at uh, www.recycleyourelectronics.ca. Um, anyone can log on there, uh, find their locale, and uh, find their local electronics recycling depot where they can bring in anything and everything, printers, computers, old phones, chargers, that shoebox of chargers that you have, <laughs> that can go straight away. And, and, and these sites have been approved by the government to properly dismantle and dispose of all of the elements that make up uh, any of your electronic devices and you have the confidence to know that that hardware is going to make its way to a proper recycling and, and reuse facility and it's going to stay out of the landfill. I never knew a site like that existed. Yeah, I know. Right. It's, it's actually a really great site to go on there and, and to have it be government sponsored, it really just shows that that, that uh, our, our politicians do actually care about what, what uh, about us. So. <laughs> of course. What's the name of that site again, just so we can have Yeah, it? it's www.recycleyourelectronics.ca. Okay. And, and that's just, I mean, for, for here in Ontario, uh, but if, if anyone logs on, be it in another province or even uh, in, in another country, uh, governments around the world are doing uh, very similar um, uh, things on the, on the web mm -hmm. and, and for their uh, citizens. Well, it's great to know that it's so local. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. Close. Absolutely. And, and uh, I mean, but say you have a computer or a printer or a monitor that, that is really in great working condition. It's just of no use to, to you um, anymore. I mean, you've got... Uh, but is still in great working condition, can do everything you need it to do, um, and you think that someone could really have a use for that. There's no sense in, in tearing that apart and recycling it for the, for the components and, and the small little bits and pieces. Um, I know for myself, I've got like several computers at my house. Most of them don't do anything. I can only use one at a time. Mm -hmm. I don't need two, three computers, especially something from, from back 10 years ago. Um, 
but there is still use for those. They can get on the internet just fine. They can they can surf. You can email. You can type uh, word documents, etc. So. What can we do with those to, to really help our, our society? Yeah, because there's some people out there who can't even afford a laptop or a computer, and, right? Yeah, absolutely, and, and, okay. and, but they still need to use that as a tool. I mean, we can't get away from that anymore. I mean, how many times do you go on, on uh, TV and watch a commercial and, and all they have is a website? They don't even have a phone number. They don't have anything except a Facebook page to go and check out or a website. Mm -hmm. And how can you do that if you don't have a computer, right? So there's, there's actually some great organizations out there that will take your gently used uh, uh, computers and, and computer components um, and reuse those and, and redistribute them out to community centers, to schools, oh, wow. and, and to those that are a little less fortunate that still need the technology, just they don't need the newest technology. That's a great way to get back to the community. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one great site is uh, littlegeeks.org. It's littlegeeks.org? Yeah, okay. exactly. It's www.littlegeeks, plural. Org. All right. And what this group does is, is they, uh, if you contact them, they'll take your old uh, PCs and printers and monitors. Uh, they'll make sure that everything is in great working order, and then they'll take um, what you've given to them and redistribute it out to uh, community centers and, and to children's youth groups, uh, so that kids have the ability to access and, and, and learn the technology just like we did when we were kids. Oh, what a great organization! Yeah, it sounds it like is. a great cause. It is. It's really great, and, and I mean, not that there's any more reason to have to donate besides helping kids, mm -hmm. but you actually can get a tax receipt for for any of the hardware or components oh, even that better. you donate. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, not that we needed another reason, but I mean, it's kind of a win-win situation. So awesome. Yeah. So I mean, be it. Recycling your electronics to, to just keep it out of a landfill or putting your, your old uh, electronics out for reuse by society again. I mean, there's, there's really no, there's no reason to put these into the trash any longer. No, you're right, definitely. All right, well, thank you so much, Jason. No problem, thanks for having I me. I actually had no idea about these websites, they even existed. Yeah. Could you actually name them again for us, yeah, just so that we know? Absolutely. Uh, so to, to find a place to recycle your electronics, mm -hmm. you just have to go to www.recycleyourelectronics, all one word, dot C-A. All right, that's to recycle them, Absolutely, right? yeah, that's the, okay. to find your local depot to go and, and just get rid of everything and they'll recycle it. Uh, in an environmentally responsible manner. And to give them the way to schools and other kind of community organizations, what's that website yeah, called again? And that group is www.littlegeeks.org. Oh, again, all one all right. word, plural. Yeah, it's actually, it's a really cute website as well. So uh, you can go there, you can reach out to them and connect. They have a list of, of uh, products that, or hardware that they're looking for, mm -hmm. uh, as well as you can just let them know what you have. And, uh, and and then they'll be happy to take it for you uh, from you and, and redistribute it out to, uh, to to kids that need it. That's great, great cause too. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jason. That was awesome. <laughs> Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right up after the break.